Since Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's victory in New York's June 26 primary, unseating a 10-term incumbent, the term Democratic Socialist is back on the mainstream radar. She's a member of the Democratic Socialists of America. Self-described Democratic Socialist. Vowed Socialist. 28-year-old self-identified socialist called Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Democratic socialists are popping up in races across the country, even winning in districts where they weren't yet on the ballot. And yet, despite this surge, socialism is a political ideology that is often misconstrued and misrepresented in America. It's not okay to put donors before your community. When we organize people power, we can elect a government that truly represents us, not the interests of the 1%. This is a grassroots campaign of the people, by the people, and for the people. The basic principle of socialism, or at least of social democracy, is that political equality is impossible without some degree of economic equality. As a result, it's not enough just to guarantee to citizens equal rights or equal votes. Um, they also need to achieve some degree of economic independence. Socialism was popularized in the 19th century by revolutionary political theorist Karl Marx. Marxism aims to establish a society governed by the working class. His theories were integral to socialism in Europe. America has always been something of an outlier, and in fact, Marx has historically been much less significant for American socialists than for European socialists. Uh, and the aim was not to replace capitalism, but rather to restrain it and to ensure that the riches that capitalism produces are fairly shared among citizens. Today, I think we're seeing something that uh, fits into that long tradition, but uh, has its own voice. Every working class American in this country should have access to dignified health care, and no person should feel precarious in their, in, or unstable in their access to housing as our economy develops. Some Democrats are afraid. We believe that, uh, as Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has said, in a, in a modern, modern moral and wealthy society, no American should be too poor to live. And that's, I think, basically what DSA stands for. This platform is gaining popularity, especially among young voters, who don't have the same connotations around socialism as older generations. According to a 2015 YouGov poll, only 15% of Americans over 65 have a positive view of socialism. But when you look at the people under the age of 30, the percentage more than doubles. Many of the people today who call themselves socialists actually have no memory uh, of the Soviet Union or of China in its more orthodox Marxist phase. And that too makes it easier to identify as, as a socialist today. But not everyone has moved beyond socialism's historical associations. Yeah, we're talking about socialism as a platform, which, as we both know, has killed over 100 million people. Full-throated socialism, despite its abject failure in places like Cuba and Venezuela. I, for one, work hard, pay taxes, believe in capitalism, and have no plan to move to Venezuela or Sweden. Socialism, I think, can plausibly be depicted as opposing that conception of freedom and equality. And that's the only way you can have socialism. You have to force people to take from those according to their ability and right. give to those according to their need. It takes a totalitarian government to make that work. Conservatives and Republicans have denounced the American welfare state since the 1940s as incipient socialism. They have trifled with that great American institution, free, private, competitive enterprise, by discouraging adherence to the principle of private ownership of property, they have established the prerequisites to a socialistic, or even later, a communistic state. One of the traditional methods of imposing statism or socialism on a people has been by way of medicine. It's very easy to disguise a medical program as a humanitarian project. The welfare state failed so totally, and it's so clear we have to replace it with an opportunity society. The tragedy is that in the last half century, while we contained the Soviet empire and won the Cold War, we have become in danger of losing our own civilization. 
On the other hand, supporters of welfare programs have learned to embrace the socialist moniker. I hesitate to describe what at least Bernie Sanders has, has offered as socialism. But I think that both Sanders and some of his supporters are making use of a distinctively American rhetorical trick which labels almost any form of social welfare provision as socialism. He's saying, in effect, um, if that's socialism, then I'm a socialist and you should be too. Regardless of the interpretation of democratic socialism, the movement has been gaining steam. What that means for politics in America, only time will tell. This is the beginning. We will be here and we are going to rock the world in the next two years. Rock it. Rock it.